All right, guys, I'm back with another video. I'm gonna try and do one every Saturday if I can, just one a week. Can't really do the two week stuff anymore. But there it is. I told you guys in the last video that I was gonna surprise you guys. It is a diamondback bed cover. If you follow me on Instagram, you probably already knew that. I'm just gonna walk around and show you guys how it works. It was super easy to install, I would say within an hour. I think the instruction said 45 minutes, but you gotta prepare and get tools out and all that stuff. So about an hour, hour, 15 minutes, you know. So let's hop into it. I'm gonna walk around and show you everything it does. Just a side note, these racks are the, the Yakima racks. Did not come on it. I drilled holes and mounted that on there. They are off my F-150 camper shell, the truck I traded in to get this Toyota about last year around this time. Uh, if you watch some of my early videos, you'll see it when I first got the Pro Angler. That's the truck I had with the camper shell on the racks. But I mounted those myself. I kept them from the camper shell. But let's hop into it. All right, so first up, you have the back right here. This is a aluminum diamondback material that is line-axed or some kind of bed cover. I don't know if it's actually line X, but it's some kind of um, bed lining material like Rhino liner or line X or whatever. And right here is a lockable. You got one back here and one up there. Um, you just twist it right now it's unlocked. The racks have added a little bit of weight and it seals up pretty good. So the wax it doesn't really come up on its own until I give it a little nudge and then it'll come up on its own. It's got these two little um, shocks that raise it up and lower it. They're quick disconnect. So you can disconnect them right here. I'm not actually gonna do it, but you see this little lever you can flip. You pop them off. If you, once you pop both of them off, this this entire thing will go back and you can strap it down and you have access right here. It also has a quick disconnect right here. So basically this is a, it's a half. So there's a cutout on this. That one slides on right there. You can see that one slides on and this one kind of pushes on. And it's a certain angle that you have to get to take it off um, and put it on. But this stuff, I mean, you can tear this whole thing off of your bed in like, I think they said 10 minutes. And you can definitely take just this panel and this, this panel, which weigh I think about 35 pounds each. You can take those off in a matter of seconds. And then you have pretty much your full bed other than this centerpiece which is held on by those clamps right there. They go in the track system of the Toyotas or the Nissans, I think also. But this is your lever mechanism. So that's open, closed, and you can see that works back and forth. And what locks it in is that works like this underneath this tab that you have to put on. Now let's go up to the front, same thing. It. I got this one set up a little tighter lift it up there is a little safety I'll show you in a second you have to push down and then it pops all the way up it's this thing right here so you have to push this up or it won't go up all the way and the reason for that is if you're driving down the road and this thing comes open while you're going down the road it's to keep it from coming all the way open and getting broken so it keeps it low and it takes all the stress off these shocks. And uh, pretty much this little steel bar right here takes all the uh, blunt of the force. And as you can see right here, this is where I mounted the Yakima racks. And I siliconed them up. So it's waterproof. It's got these thick seals. You mount this seal here. I put a little silicone in the corners just to be safe. And yeah, this side locks too, same lever mechanism and everything. They basically lock into the bed rails right there. And uh, that kind of acts as the lock like this in the back. So yeah, um, it's got four tie downs. This is not the heavy duty. This is the SE, which only has four of these tie downs. 
Um, it holds, and this thing holds up to 400 pounds on top of the bed up here. Uh, if you want to get the HD, which is the heavy duty, it comes with 12 tie downs. It's uh, like three or four hundred dollars more, I think, and it can hold up to 1600 pounds. And you can drive four wheelers and uh, side by sides and stuff like that on top of that if you have a full size truck. Um, they do make it for these smaller trucks like Toyotas and stuff, but um, I don't think you can do the side-by-sides. You can still do four-wheelers, though. But, yeah, and then I mounted these Rakuma, or Yakima racks um, just in case I want to take a little teal kayak for a friend or what have you, or maybe if I get a smaller kayak and I want to make a quick trip, I can throw it on here. And I plan on getting a rooftop tent to maybe take some longer trips, maybe to Cape Lookout, um, do some fishing of, off that island, and just staying in a tent on the back of the truck. Um, so yeah, and these things, they come off really easy. I'm gonna show you. Okay, so yeah, let's say I don't want these, I wanna take these racks off for some reason. I don't, I don't need them on back. So I just unlock it, right here, unlock pull that out pop this and it just raises off and that's what's left behind so so super easy to remove so yeah the yakima racks are super easy to remove um they have a lot of cool accessories like toolboxes and stuff like that but so far i'm really happy with this bed cover i think it's awesome the fact that i can throw uh, a lot of my fishing gear in this and lock it up if I'm like going on a fishing trip staying in a hotel I don't have to worry about somebody stealing my stuff um, if you have collapsible rods or a longer bed that you can actually fit your rods in um, or a short bed with two-piece rods you can just throw them in here and lock them up I got the trailer with the rod tube that locks so I'm not really worried about that I'm more worried about my luggage coolers um, baits and stuff like that maybe seats mirage drives stuff that i don't want to leave on my kayak i will lock my kayak to the trailer and then take all the valuable stuff off the chair the the uh h crate and i can stuff all that stuff in here underneath the bed and lock it up and it's all secure so that's why i said that this thing can relate to fishing in the last video i said that and uh, i think that's why i think for any sportsman or anything like that, if you're any kind of outdoorsman, if you're hunting, fishing, camping, four-wheeling, any, any kind of that stuff, that this is gonna come in handy and it's great. And it's a little expensive, but what other tonneau cover do you know of that you can drive a four-wheeler on top of? I don't know of any other than the Diamondback. And it also seals, I'm in through the car wash with this thing. I uh, didn't get really any water in. I left my mat, my bed mat, uh, in there. So any water does get in there, it just goes onto the bed and the kind of mat stays dry and the water's underneath the mat. So whatever I have sitting on the mat is going to stay dry. But yeah, really like this thing. Pretty much in love with that bed cover. It's the best mod that I've done to my Tacoma yet. And I have put the pocket, the pop and lock on the tailgate, just in case you're wondering. No, you cannot get in my tailgate when the doors are locked. This thing will lock up. So, uh, if you want to see a better video about this, more in depth, he shows you how to take everything off. I'd check out Last Line of Defense. It's a gun and kind of four wheeling, camping, just outdoorsman kind of stuff. Really great channel. You might already be subscribed. If not, go check him out. That's where I saw this thing for the first time. And I was like, I have to have that. So, I hope you enjoyed this video. Maybe it's something you want to check out. And I'll leave a link in the description of where you can buy this thing. Anyways, guys, I'll see you in the next one.